Hey guys, Arsp here. We are looking at the week 7 weekly quest. What we'll do is we'll do what we always do, which is we'll take each one in turn. We'll have a chat about it and see how best I think we can get these quests done. And then over the course of the next couple of days, I'll try and post up videos where I feel they're necessary for some of the quests below. Okay guys, so first quest is damage opponents with pistols, harvesting tools or grenades. Not the best of, of weapons to try and knock out 500 points of damage in total. I hate pistols. Harvesting tools are generally, you know, you're only ever going to use them if you're landing on top of somebody at the start of a fight um, and you're maybe both trying to get into the same space. Grenades are probably the best way forward, but it's finding enough of them actually getting them to go off while people are in and around you. Easiest way is if you're probably doing duos, trios or squads and uh, you knock a player, you'll get points off them when they're on the ground and you hit them with your harvesting tool. It's probably going to be the quickest way to get to 500 unless you're really handy with a pistol and you're pretty accurate with your grenades. Next up we have is damage opponents with ranged weapons while riding wildlife. Easy one to do guys, jump on top of a boar or a wolf and shoot people with guns. Total of 200 points of damage. It says opponents, so this should work against Vader. It should also work against the Herald Sanctum. Don't know about her wolves, but you could do it that way. Otherwise, it's players. Next up is damage opponents with shotguns. Total of 500 damage. Guys, this is bread and butter stuff in Fortnite with shotguns. Everybody usually carries them. You just need to get up close and personal and knock out your 500 damage. You should be able to rattle that out over a course of the games. Next up is deal damage to opponents at Loot Lake. Big lake in the middle of the map. 200 points of damage, do it whatever way you want. Goo guns, snipers, pistols, shotguns, you name it, use it, get your 200 damage. Should be really, really easy to do. It's just a case of getting people there and fighting them. Um, next up we have is enter a chrome vortex. The chrome vortexes, if you think about it, are the large chrome tornadoes that you can see in and around Herald Sanctum and usually the other one travels about the map. If you haven't completed the Get Chromified While Driving quest that popped up a few days ago, you could do this at the same time. There is a wee fishing spot just to the southwest of Herald's Sanctum, and I'll just show you the location for that in a moment. Um, pick up the, the truck that sits there and just drive towards the Herald's Sanctum where the large chrome vortex is located. Drive straight into it and you'll complete two quests in one go. Really, really easy one for that one, guys. Next up we have pick fruit from reality saplings. You need to pick three fruits. Um, this is probably the harder quest out of the lot because the rest it's really damage orientated and you'll get that over the course of playing however many games you need to. This one is more about finding reality saplings located around the map and actually having them at a point where you can pick the fruit off them. So it makes it a little bit more difficult because they've been a bit sparse of late trying to find them and if you do find them there's nothing on them or there's no weeds around them to pluck to get them to grow. So this one might actually take you longer to complete, not because it's difficult, just it's hard to find. Um, and then lastly we have search chrome chests at the flutter barn or shiny sound both locations have an abundance of chests and um, probably more so for shiny sound because it looks as if you're getting the main uh, shopping district area plus the actual houses um, up at the other bit beside it also to know is that the big white mansion that was kind of sitting central to the north in the snow area actually sits there too now so it's probably shiny sounds your better place for it anyway guys that is a quick review of the weekly quest for week seven and um, hopefully they'll be helpful to you i'll knock out videos on these where i think we need to have them other than that guys please like and subscribe help the channel grow and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Bye bye